Hi everybody, it's Catherine here again. I'm here to talk about another change I've been working on for RB Tools. Recently, I've been working on improving the clarity and usability of the RB Tools setup repo command. To summarize what the setup repo command does is that it helps users connect RB Tools to a repository on their review board server. And to do this, it makes changes to a config file called .reviewboardrc. This config file contains metadata needed to connect RB tools to a server. Here's an example of the information it may contain. To successfully do this, users must previously configure their repositories on their review board server. This way, setup repo will be able to find them. Unfortunately, these steps are not immediately known to those new to RB tools. To demonstrate how my changes improve the first time use of this command, let's first see how it looks on the current version of RB tools. Let's assume we've never used the command before. Let's give it a try. Here, we are prompted for our review board server URL. Let's give this a try using my RB common server. I get an error here because it looks like I forgot the .com for my server URL. Let's try this again. Okay, so that was a valid server, and now we are introduced to the repository selection prompt. Here, we have to choose which repository we want to use. However, we can only see the repositories one by one. Let's give the first one a try. Okay, let's say we change our mind. Here, the command stops running, and if we want to select another repository, we have to rerun the command again. Here, we have to re-enter the server URL, so that is what I'm going to do. And let's say this time I actually do confirm this repository. Perfect! So now our config file has been updated. Let's try this again. Now let's say I look through each repository and I don't select one. What will happen is that we will get an output saying that no repository was chosen. In order to update our config file, we must pick one. While the command remains functional, there is definitely room for improvement. First of all, more information could be provided to users to ensure that they fully understand the purpose of this command. Additionally, I should also mention that if no repositories are found, users would see the same error they would see if they did not select the repository. This will be confusing for those that don't realize that they must first configure repositories on their server before using this command. Sure, we may have online documentation talking about this command, but the only information we see here is how to use it and what options are available. Now let's see how the setup repo command looks after my changes. Again, let's assume that a server is not defined in our config file. Now we see more information that explains how the command works. We also see a disclaimer saying that users must first configure their repositories in order for this command to work. If users don't know how, there are some additional instructions they can refer to here. The last time I entered an invalid URL, the command stopped. Let's see what happens if we try again. Here, we have an opportunity to re-enter our server URL without leaving the command. Users are no longer required to rerun the command if the URL is invalid. Here again is the repository selection prompt. Prior to my changes, users had to confirm or deny repositories one by one. This time, users can see all available repositories and pick whichever one they want. Here we have four options. If we enter input that is not between one to four, the command will still remain running and we can try again. One additional detail I added is the ability to see which server we're currently connected to. Let's pick the first repository here. If we change our mind, instead of leaving the command like before, we are redirected to the repository selection prompt. 
This way, we have the option to choose a new repository right away. Perfect, we've updated our config file. Let's see what happens if we rerun the setup repo command again. We will be immediately directed to the repository selection prompt, like before. To quit the command, we can simply press Ctrl C. If there is ever a case where the setup repo command cannot find repositories on a review board server, users would see this output instead. They would be notified that a repository was not found, that no changes had been made to their config file, and that they can refer to the online documentation or help options for more information. Users are also advised to check on their repositories on their server and make sure that they are configured. Regarding online documentation, I also updated the documentation for the setup repo command. Here, the styling looks a bit different, but this is just because my changes have not been pushed into production yet. Steps detailing what should be done before, during, and after running the setup repo command are now outlined. Overall, this is all I have to say about my changes to the rbtool setup repo command. Thanks for taking the time to watch my video and hope to see you in the next one.